T minus four minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Endeavour will rendezvous and dock with the orbiting International Space Station. While docked, the Canadian built space station remote manipulator system and a UHF antenna will be installed on the station. And the seven member crew of Endeavour will also outfit the US laboratory with experiments carried inside the multipurpose logistics module. This is truly a cosmopolitan crew with astronauts representing the US, Russia, Italy, and Canada. Let's just go for per sequence four. A final test of the flight control services will be conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces. At this time, a final aerial surface check of the orbiter's wing elevons and rudder will be complete. And this verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. Also, the three main engines are being gimbaled as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. And all is looking well for launch this afternoon. Everything continues to look good. And we have a go for final pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank, which is located inside the external tank. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle's main engines. Warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. That's in work. We have no unexpected errors. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Everything looks good and we are cleared for launch today. No problems are being reported by the launch team or by Endeavour's crew. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate OT flow. T minus one minute and counting. Everything is still looking good for launch of Shuttle Endeavour from Kennedy Space Center. And we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Endeavour is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. And coming up on a go for auto sequence start. T minus 31 seconds, and we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. We have a go for main engine start. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, we have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour extending the reach of the space station while extending partnerships above the Earth. Houston Endeavour roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston's now controlling. Endeavour's rolling on course toward the International Space Station. The shuttle already traveling more than 200 miles per hour. Speed now about 500 miles per hour. Three engines on board the spacecraft are throttling down to two thirds throttle to prepare the shuttle to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Three engines are now throttling back up to full throttle, altitude six miles, speed 900 miles an hour. Go ahead, throttle up. Endeavour five miles east of the launch pad. Endeavour speed now 1500 miles per hour. About one minute to 25 seconds since launch, the shuttle's already consumed more than two million pounds of propellant. 
weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Altitude now 17 miles or about 94,000 feet, 15 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. One minute and 50 seconds since liftoff. Flight controllers will now be standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets for the shuttle. A good uh, solid rocket booster separation for Endeavour. 31 miles in altitude now. 38 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Speed. 3,700 miles per hour. Endeavour's orbital maneuvering system engines are firing now that uh, as an assist to the main engines to continue to accelerate the shuttle. Endeavour, Houston, two-engine Moreau. Copy, Houston, two-engine Moreau. Those two Ohms engines will fire for about a minute and 40 seconds uh, as that assist burn takes place. That call also indicating that Endeavour could reach in a port landing at Marone, Spain, if that were required. All three engines on the shuttle operating well, all systems on board in good shape. Houston, 